If it's a private college, I'm sure you want to visit. But if it's a government college, it's end of story. Bye bye. I know that. I know that approach of everyone. But what if I tell you that I'll be taking you today to a government college, newly built government college in Pakistan town that is not just big, it's huge. It has got the state of the art facilities. It has got the STEM labs. It has got everything that you can dream of in a private institution and it's government institution. Education is totally free. Even transportation is going to be free. So many facilities that are here that you can't even dream of in a private institution. What if I tell you it's right there in your neighborhood? It's in Pakistan town. My name is Adil Azmat, representing the English department of IMCB Pakistan town. Uh, I'll be taking you to the journey of a lifetime where we are going to witness the building of uh, one of the huge, one of the humongous colleges you ever see. Let's go and explore. Right outside my window, in this direction, 15 to 20 kilometers, this is where we are heading. All right. So let's just talk briefly about the history of the model colleges. When Islamabad was uh, selected as the capital of Islamic Republic of Pakistan, and the capital shifted to Islamabad from Karachi, it was a time when uh, new educational institutions uh, were needed in the federal capital. Now those educational institutions, they were bound to be uh, the best in their league and as a result the first uh, institution for the boys was ICP G63 and for the girls it was ICG uh, that was in F6. So these two premier colleges were not just the best, but they were the only colleges, uh, male and female, for the residents of, very few residents of uh, the federal uh, capital. Now, they catered for the sons and the daughters of uh, the bureaucrats. Of course, the parliamentarians had their kids admitted in these colleges. With the passage of time, there were new model colleges that were being formed and uh, the new the new model colleges were termed as Islamabad model colleges for boys and Islamabad model colleges for girls so there there's only one ICB and one ICG uh, that hasn't got the name model with them apart from these two institutions every model college has the word model in them Although ICB and ICG both are model colleges, they are, they are the parent colleges, we can say. They were the first. And not just the first, they were the best of the best. I myself had been a part of ICB G63. I got admitted there in 1984 when I was just four years old in the prep class. And I spent 15 years there. So 15 consecutive years in ICB from 1984 to 2000. At that time, ICB was uh, the best college in Islamabad. Just getting admission there in ICB was uh, so tough. You couldn't even dream of getting admission there in ICB. You, you had the kids of the bureaucrats, you had the kids of uh, all the wealthy families over there and everybody struggling to get an admission in ICB G60 because at that time ICB was regarded as it was at par with Cadet College Hassan Abdal even Bernhall students used to come over here so I, ICB was regarded as, as same, same went for ICG as well so it, they were regarded as the top of the line educational institutions of the country so I was a part, I had the honor of being a part of ICB at that time, at its climax. Those were the good 15 years, really. With the passage of time, uh, the model college concept kept sprawling. We had the Federal Directorate of Education as an uh, administration controlling the affairs of the model colleges. We still have that. So over here, 
Well, I'm gonna take you to this uh, IMCB Pakistan town. You're gonna, you're gonna see, you're gonna witness that this is that one model college, which is an exception, we, we, which went high uh, in its construction. Normally, we see just uh, two-story high model colleges. That's it. But this uh, alone is uh, around four-story high. So it gives a grand look. Here's the college. So it's under construction right now. This is the front of the college, as you can see. So the construction is underway. This is the general locality. So this is the front of the college, it is under construction, these are the pillars, the four pillars. So it's right now 8 a.m. The construction is underway. This is going to be the front entry to the college. We're going to have a small car park over here. As you can see, the work is almost done to the structure. These are the lists that were displayed. Now, as we move around, we see the different rooms. So this was the front part of the college that is under construction. Now, as we move on, I'll be showing you the potential of the college. I'll be showing you, this is gonna be a small car park. Now, this is the alley from where we're going. After we are done with the admin block, we are here in the main college auditorium, which is closed right now. This is closed, but this is going to be the main auditorium. So this part over here will be the auditorium. So this is going to be, this is going to be the auditorium. As you can see, it's almost finished. This is on the same line. This is gonna be the main uh, auditorium. We can see the platform over here. We have a seating capacity of almost uh, 100 plus students over here, easily. We've got the galleys up there where the students can watch any game that is in progress over here. We can have drama activity over here. So you can see that we have got the state of the art facilities and this is the main building now.
Now, in this building, we can see that the front entry to this building is the cafeteria. This is the cafeteria, the front end of the building. This is where the students are going to come. They're going to have their breaks. And all of this facility, which is over here, is going to be for the students to have recreation for around 20 to 25 minutes once they are done with their academic sessions in the main building. So this is going to be the main building. This is the main building. This is four stories high. We've got, we've got the solar panels installed on the rooftop. This is perhaps going to be the assembly area as well because we have to manage the affairs over here. As I told you earlier, that we've got less space over here. So instead of going wide, we went up. These are the stairs now. So these are the stairs. These are going to be the classrooms. All of this thing up. We've, it's getting ready and geared up for the start of the classes, which is due any moment. So we can see, we can see that this institution is getting ready. So this perhaps is going to be for the headmistress over here. This is going to be the back entry to the college. As you can see that the back entry is as grand as the front entry. We do not have much space over here, but again, this is gonna be the back entry to the college. Still under construction. This is the alley. And this is the view that we have from the first floor. We move on to the second floor now. So things are shaping up. Over here you can see that the solar panels have been installed over here. The only model college we have got the solar panels. Going up, up and away, we move on to the next floor. Here on this floor, there are more classes over here. Things look finished here. Like so. And as you can see that there are different solar panels over here on the top of uh, this auditorium so panels over here there are panels up there so the whole college is covered in panels so we're not gonna have much of a problem of load shedding here we finally have a college where it all gels together
More panels here. But as it is locked, I can't access the rooftop. But over here, we can have a bird's eye view of the college. Uh, so this is the lab over here. So you have seen the quality of the equipment that is installed in the lab. Look at the quality of the equipment. The idea that you normally have of a government institution installing the, you know, the second grade equipment, it just blows away. Just look at the taps, look at everything. The marble top is neat and clean, it's equipped. You do not even dream of getting such a lab in a private institution. This perhaps is gonna be for the lab in charge. This might be for the equipment. I don't know, let's get it finalized. I'm pretty much sure I'm going to get a language lab myself. And we're going to start activities here. This is the other lab that I was talking about. As you can see that we have got all the books over here. The college is already all geared up to start. This is the other lab that I was talking about. All the books are here for the students. And these books are free of cost. Look at the quality of the books. Just look at the quality of the print of the book. And this is free of cost for the students. This is what the government is doing right now. It's providing high quality education, free of cost. All the books over here will be provided to the students, free of cost. So in a nutshell, I have made you see the whole of the college and you have seen that it is grand, it's huge, it's big, it has got all the facilities that you ever dream of. It has got the solar panels, it has got things that you can't even imagine in private sector. You have seen the facility, you have seen how utilizing the space, we couldn't go wide so we have gone up. We are right now standing at the fourth floor, the classes are all ready and geared up for the start of the education session over here. There is a new furniture that is coming over here. The block is getting ready. The main block is getting ready. All the other blocks are getting ready and they are all geared up for a wonderful start of a new educational uh, academic year. As you have seen, and I already told you that all the classes are equipped, all the books are ready and everything is ready. So let's have uh, a very hopeful new academic year at RMCB Pakistan Town. Thank you so much.